Hey everybody, thanks for joining me here for Quick Tip Thursday. This is Nicole with Topaz and today's Quick Tip topic is about selective detail enhancements using Topaz Detail. Topaz Detail separates an image by detail size when you bring that image into Topaz Detail and it's also separating it by tonal region and color. So you can go in and you can manipulate your detail in so many different selections and ranges. And not only do we have all of those uh, selective adjustments available for you, we also have an additional effect masking tool for you to make uh, very selective adjustments based on the image itself. Let's go ahead and get into the program. All right, we're going to start off with this image here. Here is the before image. And after finishing it off with Topaz Detail, our after image. Let me show you that one more time, before and after. So for this image, we will talk about the actual breaking up of detail and tone into different ranges. When you take your image into detail, you'll see this little plug-in preprocessing pop-up, and that's what it's doing. It's analyzing your image, and it's breaking it down into several detail sizes, small, medium, and large. But on top of that, it's breaking down your image into different tonal ranges as well, overall, and then only shadows or only highlights. It also has some color um, breakdown as well, which you can work with in the color, but we're mostly going to stay here within this detail module and the effect module here today. Let me go ahead and press reset all over here on the lower right. So for this particular image, let's go ahead and take a look at it at 100%. So let's say within this image I want to enhance the overall small detail just a bit so I'll just take my small detail up a touch okay but I want to remove the very smallest detail enhancements that are happening right now um, especially the ones that might be happening to my sky so I'm just going to take my small details boost which controls the range of small details that are affected and take that to the left so already we've been very selective in our detail manipulation, only the small details, and now we've taken the small detail range down. If I want to add a little bit of medium details overall, I can do that right here. And I think that's where I'll stop with my overall. And I'll move on to my shadow tones. So now when I click on the radio button next to shadow, it'll show me all my detail uh, choices within the shadow region. It's the same breakdown, but it's only going to affect the shadowy area. So in this image, it's really going to be focusing in on the forest itself and the trees. So if I want to get, let's say I want to bring out some of the separation of tone, get a little bit more depth in the shadows, but I don't really want a lot of small detail enhancements since I already added that in the overall. So instead of going to the small details, I'll start off here in the medium details and just add that in my tonal regions. So let's just, I'll take that really high so you can really see that it's only affecting the, um, the shadows and not the highlights of the mountain itself or the sky. So here I will just take that up to about 0.15 maybe a little bit less. So I like that. Here's before and after. Again, before and after. It's a nice, gives me a little bit more depth. I'm going to also take my large details up just a touch to separate my large image elements, which are going to be really a lot of the uh, structure elements that you see um, where you have large differences of tone already. So you'll see a lot of those larger areas stand out. Let me take that up higher so you can see that what that really does. So you can be very selective about the size detail, the range of each size that you can affect within each tonal area. So it's pretty much giving you nine different areas of detail to adjust independently from one another. So my highlights now, if I go on to my highlight uh, region, I can now focus in on my mountain and my cloud area. So let's say I want to add just a touch more small details so I can come into my small details here and get some nice small detail enhancement, especially on that mountain area, on the uh, highlight areas. Here's before 
and after, but I don't really like the small detail again going into my cloud area, so I'm just going to take that small detail boost down and eliminate the very smallest details that are being effective, but it's still affecting the small details on the mountain itself. And then let's kind of uh, avoid, maybe I'll give a little bit of a medium detail boost, and then a larger large detail boost to really get some of those shadows and highlights uh, to pop out on the mountain as well as the clouds. So I want to give that large details boost and affect some of these even larger details. I can pop that detail boost. And now here's before. Here's after. There's been a lot of detail enhancement and adjustment within this one module, but we've done it in a very selective manner based upon detail size, range, and tone. Let's go ahead and take a look at that at full frame here. Here's before and after, and I'm pretty happy with this. It's a little strong on my screen, but I think probably going across the uh, webinar program it looks a little bit less sharp, but if it looks a little too sharp, you can always come in and take down some of these things, or you can come down into your effect mask, which we're about to get into, go down to your overall opacity and take that down to, let's say, about 75 or 80 percent. That'll just give me a little bit more of my original image blending back in with this affected image. You can press OK and get back into to or Photoshop, and here's before and after. So that's the selective uh, adjustments available to you, again, by detail size and tone. And then to go even further within Topaz Detail, you have the ability to use an effect mask, which is basically just selective masking based upon the subject itself. So for this image, we'll just do a quick selection in Topaz Detail of this iced over rose. Here's before. and after. And you can see it's only affecting my rows. None of the background has been affected by my detail manipulation. And that's because of that selection mask. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to take this background, make a quick copy, and go into detail. Press reset all. Let's take a look at this detail module. And let's take a look at this rose just a little bit uh, closer here, maybe closer to, uh, we'll do 50%. Okay, so let's say I wanted to really focus in on the highlight areas because that's the tone of the ice itself, and I really want to bring out those ice crystals and uh, get those to be much sharper and have more depth to them. So I can do a couple things. I can work with my overall, but I think I'm going to go directly to my highlight and just go and see if this helps with just the ice crystals. Get some nice medium detail. Oh, that looks good. I really like that medium detail enhancement. A little bit of large detail as well. So here's before, here's after. It's really affecting my highlights and nothing else. So you can see within the shadowy areas, especially directly to the right of the top of this rose, it's not being affected by the detail. But you can see over here on the top left, it's affecting the highlights within this blurred area of this other rose, as well as below the rose. So if I want to get rid of that and only have it affect the actual rose that is in focus, I can quickly come down and do that with my effect mask. So for this particular workflow, what I would want to do is hide all of my adjustments by inverting my mask to black, and then I can brush in the detail adjustments that I've made into the areas that I want them to be applied. So for that, I just need to take my strength to one, which is actually going to give me a white brush versus a black brush. My brush size, I'll go ahead and take down here. My hardness, I will take fairly low. My flow, I'll leave at one, and my edge aware, I'll leave at one. And the reason we suggest if you are going to be doing a selective adjustment, staying within detail and using that edge aware mask or the edge aware capabilities of this brush 
are really going to be beneficial um, to getting a very quick and exact mask without a lot of work. So I'm just going along the edges of this rose, making sure to keep my um, crosshairs of my brush, which are right in the middle of my brush, on either the red or the white of the rose itself, the white crystals or the red petals, and I'm not going into the green background. As long as I don't go into that green background with the crosshairs, it will not, no matter how big my brush is, it will not bleed over into that green area. So I can be very specific. So I'm coming down here to this little uh, leaf, com leaves coming off of the rose and just getting a little bit more detail manipulation there as well as the stem of the rose. There we go. And now I'm going to take my edge aware all the way down take my hardness up and just basically fill in the rest of the rows with that white color to show all of my adjustments and getting a very um, exact selection is as simple as that within Topaz Detail. So here is prior to going or prior to doing our effect mask and here's after. Again, before. You can really see a lot of that detail coming through on the left and after. And now before all together and after. So I'll press OK, get back into Photoshop and those are all the different ways of selectively adjusting your detail within Topaz Detail. So you have your detail size ranges, you get to actually control the range of that size detail, you have the different tonal ranges where you can affect all of those different sizes within each tone, and then on top of that you have the selection, of, or the selection tool with that effect mask. Alright everybody, thank you so much for joining me here for Quick Tip Thursday. I, hate, I hope this gave you a quick look at all the different selection uh, possibilities within Topaz Detail, and I hope to see you at next week's Quick Tip Thursday. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.